Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another Ultimate Comparison. So as I promised in my last video where I reviewed the Potronix ReSound 2, I had said that that was part 1 and this is part 2 where I'm going to compare the Potronix ReSound 2 with the Potronix Sound Drum P. So if you're excited, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and after watching this video, whichever speaker that you decide to pick up for yourself, my only request is that you use the link of these products given in the description below to make your purchase. That way you guys, as always, will be helping me run this channel and I can produce more such helpful and high quality content just for you guys. All right, so with that said, let's begin. So guys, I'm not going to waste your time by going over all the similarities and differences that these two speakers share. Rather, the chart you're seeing right now on screen, this summarizes all of these similarities and differences for you. So have a good look at this and pause the video if you need to. Got it? Okay, so now with that out of the way, now let's get into the main criteria, which is the audio quality. I'm going to give you my verdict on what the differences between their audio signatures are. And at the end of the episode, as always, you're going to get my signature sound test where the same tracks at max volume will be played from both of these speakers and you guys will listen, form your judgment and decide for yourselves. Okay, so first, let's get the elephant out of the room, which is that this Potronix ReSound 2 is a 15 watt speaker versus the Potronix Sound Drum P, which is a 20 watt speaker. So, yes, those 5 watts that the Sound Drum P has extra in its arsenal, that does play a role in terms of the uh, loudness, obviously, but it also rolls over to its frequency response. So you guys know that I judge speakers based on how they produce the three main frequencies that broadly make up any sound that you hear. The highs, the mids, and the lows. Highs or the treble where the sharp sounding instruments are, the mids or the vocals, and the lows or the bass response. Now starting off with the highs, well the highs produced by the Potronix ReSound 2 sound very natural and pleasing without any sort of sibilance or artificial sharpening. So they sound very sweet. Now in comparison, you have the Sound Drum P where the highs sound much more sharp and are much more upfront to the point where you might find it a bit over sharpened. Now, as I keep saying, and I've said this in my past ultimate comparisons, that it's only when you compare speakers that you get to know what the differences are. So when I compare these two head to head, I found that the highs on the Sound Drum P were far more sharp and upfront and had more clarity compared to the Resound 2, which sounded much more natural. Now, coming to the vocals, it shares the same qualities as the highs do. So the Potronix ReSound 2 has a very natural vocal response where it sounds very mellow and natural, no hollowness, no artificial uh, brightening of the vocals. So very natural. And you compare that with the Sound Drum P, where the vocals sound much more clear, they have much more clarity, but I wouldn't say it always goes in its favor. So it could be preferential, it could be again your preference. So sometimes I would say that the Potronic Sound Drum P's extra clarity in the vocals goes in its favor, where I do enjoy that extra bit of sharpness in the vocals, whereas sometimes certain tracks are far better produced and sound much more pleasing to the ears. Uh, that emanate from the Potronix ReSound 2. If you want a natural vocal response which sounds pleasing, then go for the ReSound 2. But if you want something that penetrates the audience or if you have a gathering that everybody is able to listen to that more clearly and you want that extra bit of clarity, then definitely choose the Sound Drum P. And finally, we have the low end or the bass response. Now, this was tricky. So, the Potronix ReSound 2 like I said, has a very natural bass response. It's not absent, but it's not overwhelming. Now, when you compare that to the Sound Drum P, it's got a bit more thump to it and the additional 5 watts of RMS that it has in its favor also helps give boost to that bass response. I'm not saying one is better than the other because on certain tracks, I would definitely prefer the natural bass response of the Potronix ReSound 2, whereas on certain tracks, I would prefer that uh, that extra bit of punch that I would get from the Potronix Sound Drum P. I would say that if you want a very natural, pleasing, sweet sound response, you should go with the Potronix ReSound 2. 
and if you enjoy the LED lights, the Resound 2 has LED lights, while the Sound Drum P does not. But if you want a speaker that has more clarity across the three frequencies, has more volume, and has that extra bit of reach overall, then you should go for the Sound Drum P because it definitely gives you that. Now, this is where something very important comes into play. The Resound 2 has a directional sound. So I'd mentioned that it's the area which has the Portronics logo. So there is one single speaker driver over there and it's got bass radiators on either side. So because if you're facing the Portronics logo, if you're sitting in front of it, you're going to get the full spectrum of the sound because that is where the speaker driver is facing. But if you're sitting behind that, you're not going to get that full spectrum. So that makes it directional, even though it has a uh, barrel design or cylindrical design. Now in comparison, the Portronic Sound Drum P has two speaker driver units packed inside. They face away from each other on either side. So whichever side you're sitting on, you're gonna get the full spectrum of the sound. So if you do want a bit of that 360 degree sound, you should definitely go for the Portronic Sound Drum P. But if you're okay with the directional sound, which is minor by the way, it's not a deal breaker, but it is a difference in terms of their uh, speaker driver design. Okay, so that's enough of me blabbering around in this episode. Now let's get into the most exciting part, which is my signature sound test. So I'm going to play two tracks at max volume. They're going to play from these speakers. I'm going to intercut between these two. So you guys listen, form your judgment and let me know in the comments below what you guys think, what you guys think the differences are. I've given you my verdict and I hope I've made it simple for you to choose. And um, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel, smash the like button to make me feel good and help the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment below. And like I said, if you want to help this channel out, please use the links of these speakers given in the description below to make your purchase to help me make more videos just for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode and I'll catch you guys very soon in the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.